He's talking about a missile. He's not talking about an actual uh, arrow that shoot out of a bow. Watch this. That's how you know. Keep reading. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. Uh -huh. Nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side. It said when this arrow flies, it said a thousand gonna fall at his side. You shoot an arrow, it only can, if you shoot an arrow out of a bow, it's only gonna kill what? Probably one person. But this arrow right here gonna do what? And ten thousand, a thousand shall fall at thy side. Huh? And ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. So if you keeping the commandments, that nuclear bomb ain't gonna come near us. So that's why we coming out here to tell you to warn you to come out of the ways of America. You gotta come out of the ways of America. America will be destroyed with thermal nuclear fight. Yeah. All you still celebrating Thanksgiving, guess what? You're gonna be destroyed in that thermal nuclear fight. Yes, bro. There's no salvation for you. Well, we come out here to warn you whether you hear it or whether you forbear. Huh? Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven say it. So we say it like this right here. Come out of her. It said, come out of her. My people. God's chosen people. That ye be not partakers of her sin. Don't be partakers of her sin. Come out of the ways of America. Separate yourself. Come out of the ways of America. Give me a uh, second. Uh, please, please. Come out of the ways of America. We come out here to warn our people. But our people look at us like we crazy. Bring it up. They look at us like we don't know what we talking about. Read. Second Peter, chapter 3 and verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. You're not going to know when no arrows come. You're not going to know when them nuclear missiles is on the way. It's going to be like a thief in the night. Read. And the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. You're going to look up. It's going to pass away with a great noise. What is that great noise? Boom! Yeah. America will yeah. be destroyed by thermonuclear fire. Read. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. It said the element. Excuse me, bro. I let us talk to you for one second, bro. You know who you are according to the Bible. Hey, come talk to us for a minute. See how people don't want to know. They don't want no solution for the... Uh, they, they want to stay at the bottom of society. But thermonuclear fire is coming to America. All right, keep reading. The elements shall melt with fervent heat. Everything that this white man created will be melted with fervent heat. Read. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Everything going to be burnt up in the day of the Lord. Everything will be burnt up. Okay. Nuclear destruction is coming to America. We come out here to warn our people. World War III just popped off. It just popped off. It is coming to America next. You're going to be sitting around eating a, uh, a Thanksgiving turkey. Yeah, you know, you're going to be shopping on Black Friday. And ISIS is going to hit you. Then you're going to be, I guess you're going to put an American flag on your Facebook page. Because you think you are an American. Yeah, Bring it out. You know. That's what they did. Our people so dumb. When the things happened to France, everybody putting a uh, red, white, and blue France uh, flag on their Facebook. Bring it out, all. Our people are lost as hell. Y'all know what France done to you? You know what the French done to our people? They enslaved our people too. Yes, bro. You know. Read that again. Right? First Peter chapter 3 and verse 10. But the day of the Lord. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. You're not gonna know when the most high God comes. You're not gonna know when he's gonna send his son Christ back. Read. And the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. So the heavens gonna pass away with a kaboom, a great noise. Read. And the elements shall be shall melt with fervent heat. Right, and everything gonna be burnt up. The earth also, and the waste, and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Like I was saying, everything gonna be burnt up. So we come out here to warn our people. Yo, God is not gonna warn you. Two chains ain't gonna warn you. Beyonce ain't gonna warn you. The PlayStation ain't gonna warn you. We are God's chosen people. And it's time for us to wake up out of our sleep. Most of our people think God is white. They think Jesus is white. But that's not according to the Bible. It's not true according to the Bible. Jesus is a black man 
and God is a black man. That's yeah, right. So we're gonna prove everything we say out of the Holy Bible. Give me a revelation. Let's prove the color of Christ. We out here to warn our people, tell you nuclear destruction is coming to America. If you stay asleep, you gonna get burnt up with the rest of America. If you stay celebrating all these wicked holidays, you will be burnt up with America. That's right. You stay, you stay celebrating these holidays and see what happens. Read it up. Read. Revelations chapter 1 and verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. So John said he was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Read. And heard behind me a great voice. He said he heard behind him a great voice. So John turned around and looked. Read. As of a trumpet. He was talking very loud like I am right now. What did the voice say? Say, I am Alpha. He said, I am Alpha and Omega. Uh -huh. The first and the last. Uh -huh. And what thou seest, write in the book. He said, what you see, write in the book. Why would Christ, why would God tell John to revelate what he sees to write it in the book? Hold that picture up right there. Get that devil up. Hold that devil up. But who is this right here? Who they tell us that is? They say that's Jesus the Christ. They say that's Jesus. But we finna see what the Bible say because John, the revelator, he wrote it down. Let's see who lying and see who telling the truth. Our slave master, you're going to find out that they lying. Let's see who telling the truth. Read. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. He said his head and his hairs were white like wool. Who on earth got woolly hair today? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and the Native Americans. Read. As white as snow. It was white as snow. He had gray hair. He had wisdom. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. It said Christ had eyes as a flame of fire. As a flame of fire. Why did Christ, why, why was his eyes a flame of fire? Bring it out. Was he like a cartoon character and he shot red beams out of his eye? No. The Bible ain't no fairy tale book. Read. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. His eyes were red because he drunk wine moderately. Yes, Christ drunk wine, but he did not get drunk. Christ didn't sin. Go back to Revelation. We are getting the description of Jesus the Christ. Jesus the Christ is not a white man. That's what most of our people believe, that this Jesus the Christ. That's not Jesus. Y'all look at this picture. That is not Jesus the Christ. That's a white boy named Caesar Borgia, Pope Alexander the sixth son. He paid Leonardo da Vinci money to paint his son as the Christ during the Renaissance period. That is not Jesus the Christ. Jesus the Christ looks like this black man walking down the street right now. You know you look like Jesus Christ, bro? I know. Look just like him. What Jesus Christ look like? I don't know. I ain't never seen his face before. Have you ever looked in the mirror? Yeah. He looked just like you. We finna read it. Just listen as you walk. You know, his head and his hairs were white like wool. He said the head, his head and his hairs were white like wool, like you got, bruh. Jesus Christ had white woolly hair. He said the hair on his head and the hair on his face was white, just like yours. Jesus Christ is not a white man. Read. It's white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. He said his eyes were as a flame of fire, just like yours. Jesus Christ drunk wine, and you've been drinking wine. Yeah. I can see it in your eyes. Right on up. And his feet like unto fine bread. He said his feet was like unto fine bread. What color is bread? What color is bread? Brass is a derivative of brown. Not only was it brown, but what? As if they burned in a furnace. It says as if it burned in a furnace. You throw anything in the furnace, what color is it going to come out? It's going to come out black. Jesus Christ is a black man according to the Bible. That's right. Give me the uh, Matthew, uh, 24, uh, 24. You say, why does color matter? Why does color matter? A lot of black folks say, it don't matter to me what color Jesus is, as long as he's Jesus. Well, listen to this right here. Matthew chapter 24, verse 24. For there, shall, for there shall arise false Christ. So Matthew said, in the book of Matthew, it said there shall arise false Christ. Meaning somebody going to come teaching a lie. They're going to say Jesus Christ is a white man. Teaching you ain't got to keep God's laws. 
Stay out the Old Testament. The Old Testament don't matter. What they talking about, you can keep time. They want their money, though. Bring it out, huh? And false prophets. He said they're going to rise false prophets. That's what's in these churches. The Sabbath day is not on the Sunday. It's Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. That's how you know you are dealing with a false prophet when you go in your church. He ain't even worshiping God and congregating on the right day. The white man told him to have church on the Sunday. The Bible says the Sabbath day is on the Saturday. That's right. That's a false prophet. That's right. And show great signs and wonders. Right, they got nuclear bombs. They got great signs and great wonders. Read. And so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. He said they were going to deceive the very elect. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, guess what? You are the elect. We're going to prove it out the Bible. Yeah. Even the elect, Isaiah. We are the God's elect. God only chose one nation of people to be his people. That's right. Everybody's not God's chosen people. That's right. That's what we got to get in our head. That's what we got to get in our mind. That's what we got to know. That we are special people according to the Most High God. Bring it out. And we're at the bottom of society because we choose not to listen to what God say. We want to listen to what our pastor say. We was on the radio station earlier. They talking about, no, close the Bible. Why you just can't talk? Why you just can't talk? Because when we talk, God is talking. That's, That's right. right. We ain't come to speak our own word. That's why you see us out here reading the Bible. And we're going to read more scriptures today than you ever heard in your, your Christian pastor read. He read one scripture, the choir scene, they pass the plate around, and guess what? Do it again next Sunday. They pass the plate twice. Oh, they pass the plate twice. He got to get his money. A preacher ain't nothing but a pimp. Right. He got hoes and he got a Cadillac. That's a pimp. We're going to tell it like it is. Read. Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 4. Uh -huh. for, for Jacob, my servant's sake, he said, for Jacob, his servant's sake, read. And Israel, my elect. So we are God's elect. We are God's chosen people. And we suffer in the conditions that we in because what? We don't choose to keep God's laws, statutes, and commandments. We got to come back to God's laws, statutes, and commandments, black man. Bring it up. We got to come back to this Bible, black man. That's right. The white man has lied to us since we've been over here. He took our book and said it was his book. Color is in the Bible. Give me some color scripture, Doc. Let's show this Bible. It's black people in this Bible. It was written by black people. God is black. Jesus Christ is black. Moses was black. The disciples were black. But when you look at their movies, they paint them. They, they, they say he's white. They say the Egyptians are white. They say the Egyptians are white. <laughs> For real. The real Arabs, the real Arabians, they are black. They ain't no white boy. Them Ottoman Turks, what you seeing over there. That's right. They yeah. white boy. We are the originators of this earth. Read. Job chapter 30 in verse 30. The preachers love to bring up Job, but they'll never tell you what color Job was. Let's see what color Job was in the Bible. Read. Job chapter 30 in verse 30. My skin is black. No, he said my skin is almond color. My skin is black. Now he said my skin is white. My skin is black upon me. Job said his skin was black upon him. Let's see what Psalm of Solomon said. Let's see what the wisest king on the earth, the wisest man to walk the earth, let's see what he said. Let's see what color Solomon was according to the scriptures. There's black people in this Bible. The white man didn't write this. The Bible speaks of the destruction of the white man. So how in the, wa in the world did the white man write the Bible? King James was a black man, and he didn't write the Bible. He only authorized the translation of the Bible. Well, you know. Our people's minds so destroyed, they think King James sit down and wrote the Bible. Well, you know. Our people are destroyed. Read. Song of Solomon chapter 1 and verse 5. I am black. King Solomon said what? I am black but comely. King Solomon said he's black but beautiful. He's black but handsome. He said he's comely. We are here with the solution for our neighborhood. We are here the solution to get our people out of predicaments that they're in. But y'all don't want to hear it. We're going to stand out here when it's hot. We're going to stand out here when it's cold to wake our people up. Because we're serious about God's business. We ain't going off into the church where they got the heat on. We're coming out to the highways and the byways. Give me that. Luke, give me Luke. 
We doing what the Bible say do. Read. Luke chapter 14 verse 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highway and the hedges and compel them to come in. So we doing it. We come down here what? To compel you to come in. To come back into the body of Christ. Or you will be destroyed when America is destroyed. You're not straight in Jackson, Tennessee. You're not straight. Don't think they just going to hit, what, New York and D.C. and Chicago. Now you're going to get hit right here in Jackson, Tennessee, too. He sent his servants out here to do what? To wake you up. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.